my name is Kayla Oliver and I am presenting the medication Pi Iridium for my uh, student practical nurse program. Pi Iridium is a urinary tract analgesic, which means it numbs the mucus of your urinary tract. And I included some pictures of what it looks like. It's usually dark red and circular. And this is what uh, the medication will look like on the package. And normal doses are 200 milligrams for uh, three times a day for two days, or 100 milligrams. It usually does not exceed two days because uh, it can have harmful effects to your uh, kidneys. Some over-the-counter medication that has the same effects but it's not as strong of a dose. It's 95 milligrams to 97.5 milligrams. And it, with it, it recommends that you get tested for UTI because prolonged use without uh, any antibiotics can lead to kidney damage. It relieves your urinary tract irritations. It does not cure. You must get a doctor evaluation. Um, Prolonged use can be very harmful. Uh, in the FDA studies, it showed that the mice that they were studying on got tumors in their renals. Let's see, you got painful, burning, urgency, frequency, itching, and you can't stand it anymore. You've got to relieve it. Or this could also have been caused by a surgery trauma or catheter or a cytoscope, per, for example could cause this sensation. You need to get rid of it because it is irritating you. Yes, urinary tract irritation. That's the reason why you need pyridine. Some things you need to know. You need to notify the doctor of any medications that you're taking before and if you are being put on new medications that, hey, I'm taking pyridine. Why? Because it does affect uh, some urinary, uh, urinary analysis. May experience headaches, dizziness, and uh, you do not take while breastfeeding or pregnant. It's not recommended for children under the age of 12. If you suspect an overdose, call your poison control immediately or go to the ER. I would do both. <laughs> take uh, at least a large glass of water while taking the medication and take it before meals to avoid GI discomfort. Do not crush, chew, or break tablets. Take as prescribed. Do not double dose. Store at room temperature, usually 59 to 60 or 59 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. A um, very important fact about this drug: it will turn your urine and tears red orange. It may stain clothing, so you might need to wear a sanitary napkin. Sorry, guys, join the girls. Do not wear contacts; it will turn them yellow. And uh, take medication until it is complete. Ways to avoid getting prescribed this medication would be take a full course of antibiotics, drink lots and lots of water. Never try to hold your urine. If you feel like you gotta go, go wipe or clean from front to back. Take or baths. If you're gonna take a bath, make sure your tub has been cleaned properly before you sit down at a big old bubble bath. If possible, try to take more showers. Use proper hand hygiene and urinate after sex. You might want to switch to a different type of birth control if you notice that this is happening more often. Talk to your doctor for what is the best method for you. And, uh, oh yes, the past can hurt, but the way I see it, you can either run from it or you can learn from it. Words of wisdom from the great Mufasa in the 1994 Lion King movie. Um, possible nursing interventions, drink lots and lots of water. Monitor urgency, frequency, and pain before you administer. Know that interferes with urinary analysis based on color, so like your sugar, ketones, bilirubin, steroids, and protein. Uh, monitor vital signs, because if a fever is present, there's a chance that it could be an infection and needs to be treated immediately because it could lead to le renal failure. Shortness of breath, tachycardia, yellowing of skin and eyes, which could be liver failure, easy bruising and bleeding, seizures, fatigue, and ash, and, or any other symptoms of uh, hypersensitivity or an allergic reaction. Here is a fun illustration that I found that will help remember. Uh, think pyro, iridium, think pyro, fire. It's 
burning, itching, irritating, painful. Red, you want to get rid of it. Um, well, that's redneck slang for them. So get rid of them fiery downstairs because if you don't put it out downstairs, it goes up. Fires go up. What happens when it goes up? You could end up with renal failure if uh, renal kidney or kidney infection goes untreated for too long or ends up with scarring. It can be permanent damage. And thank you for reading and watching my lovely presentation. And always remember, everyone needs that friend that can say, hey, you want to hear something gross? And follow up with your healthcare provider.